What's up guys? Today we're going to discuss 3D archery a little bit. So in the past I've made videos explaining how to shoot 3D archery, how to sign up, how to go through a course, what you need to do that, all the above. Recently I posted a blog on EssentialOutdoorsman.com explaining what to expect going to an Archery Shooters Association National Pro-Am. So I wrote this blog explaining how to enter it, what to expect, and what you can benefit from it. So here's where I break down how to enter into an ASA Pro-Am. Basically, if you've shot 3D before, you can shoot the same equipment at an ASA Pro-Am. They have different classes and uh, different yardages. You can go online to archeryshootersassociation.com and from there, they will have a section that breaks down all the rules and the class discernments. You can go through that figure out which class best fits you and what equipment you should be using. For most beginner 3D shooters, if you've just shot some local clubs and you want to go to an ASA just to see what it's all about, I would recommend Bow Novice. If you've never shot one before, that's a 30 yard distance, known yardage, and you can use basically your hunting equipment. You don't get long stabilizers, you don't get scopes. So your pin sights, shorter stabilizers, make sure you look at your rules there to make sure there's nothing else. but it's a pretty basic setup and it's a great starting point. From there you can upgrade your equipment and go into different classes as you proceed with your ASA career. So once you decide what class you want to shoot, uh, you just need to register as an ASA member. Obviously this is a, an organization, they do have a yearly fee. You, will, you can register there on their website and become a member and from there you can register for the tournament. It actually lists all the tournaments on that same page. You can pick and choose which ones you want to go to. You can register right there. Another thing you can do is register for the practice range um, or some of the bonus shoots that they have there at the Pro-Ams. All of that stuff does cost money, but if you tally it up, you'll see it's not too bad and you're, you're getting a pretty neat experience. Similar to an R100, of course there's a fee for that. Uh, with ASA, however, there's cash prizes. So if you enter and you shoot really well, you can actually win more than you spent to go shoot. Kids have classes and ranges too. So you can have a class for the man, for the woman, for a senior, and for kids. You can bring the entire family and make a vacation out of the deal. And a lot of people do that, especially at Foley, which is the first shoot of the year. It's in February. It's real close to Gulf Shores, Alabama. A lot of people go down there and turn that into their yearly vacation get out of the nasty Midwest weather, enjoy a little bit warmer weather, and get a chance to look at the ocean and shoot arrows also. All right, so what should you expect when you get to the shoot? Well, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is I usually go to my hotel, and then I go straight to the site where they're hosting the shoot. And that's just to make myself familiar with it. When you register, you get shoot times. Uh, as soon as you register, you'll, you'll get range assignments, similar to a golf time, a tee time. So you'll know what stake, what range, and what time. So I always go there, and if you go to the vendor area, ASA has a trailer on site. And they'll have a map of the whole place. It'll show all of your different ranges. It will also, if you have any questions about times or how to get places, you can ask somebody there. But I always do that very first thing, because I want to make sure I'm familiar with everything. And then at that point, I'll go mosey around all the different vendors, check stuff out. If you brought spending money, you can go spend that pretty easily. Lancaster has a big trailer there the Walmart of archery basically. But one other thing you, you might consider doing, if you shoot one of the major manufacturers bows uh, or the major manufacturers arrows, so you know, Gold Tip is a big one, Hoyt, Matthews, Elite, PSE, Bowtech, they'll all have stands there. And I would go to each one of those vendors and ask them if they have a contingency. So just check with them and say, hey, I'm shooting this class. I wanted to know if you guys had a contingency program. And if they do, they'll let you know and they'll have a sign up book right there. You write your name in there, your information, and if you place in the top three over the weekend, you can go back to that stand, let them know, hey, I placed, they'll go great. They'll give you a little check to hold for your picture on the podium and they'll also mail you a check later on so you can win some extra money that way. That's the first things I do when I get there is, is check the area out and sign up for contingency plans. Come time to go shoot, what do you do? Well, I make sure I get to my range about 30 minutes ahead of time. I believe that they don't allow you in there much before that, but you just go into your range. You'll walk past some range officials. They kind of guard each area. This stuff's all marked. You'll be able to find it on your map. 
there's a shuttle to take you to your range if it's too far away for you to comfortably walk and there'll be posters with your range letter on it so say you're shooting range g you'll find that there'll be a range official there he will give you two scorecards and then direct you to your stake once you get to your stake you'll just hang out and wait for the other guys to arrive and generally there's going to be four or five people on a stake so the first thing you do is introduce yourself because you're going to spend the weekend with them and then you want to take both of your scorecards fill them out with your information then you guys amongst your group decide who the two scorekeepers will be and then you split the scorecards so each person has a card with each scorekeeper so that way at the end of the weekend you or at the end of each day you can compare your score make sure that everything matched up and then the scorecards get turned in at that point you've become familiar with your group and you're waiting on your time as soon as your time hits you'll hear a range official yell shoot them up is generally what they'll say and you're ready to go and at that point it's very similar to any other 3d you'll rotate through your group each person taking their shot at the target and when you're done make sure that the range on either side of you that the group on either side of you has already shot their arrows before you go down there at a pro-am they fit a lot of ranges and a decent sized property so you're fairly close to other shooters and you don't want to go walking straight to your target and get in their peripheral so let everybody shoot everybody goes down you pull your arrows you score your target on to the next one you'll do 20 targets each day so a total of 40 targets for the weekend and at the end of the of each day the leading scorer of the group generally takes the scorecards and hands them to the range official make sure you sign and initial that card before they take them to turn them in because if you don't you might not get credit for your score for your score so that's it you shot your weekend and now you don't want to just bail and run a lot of times what i'll do especially if you have a good weekend you want to hang out for a couple of hours because they update those scores pretty quickly so you can check online on asa's website they have a score page those will be updated within a couple of hours and if you place in the top three that's when you want to go talk to your contingency manufacturers and you also want to go to the main event center because they're going to have a podium set there and if you're in the top three you want to get your picture bragging rights so at the end of the day guys that's a pro-am it's not much different than your regular 3d the thing that makes it so cool is that you are shooting with people from across the country and actually internationally uh, especially in the pro class you know stefan hansen for instance comes from europe and there are several folks there from all over the place that you'll become friends with that's my favorite thing about these is i've met people one time in one group and it's been three years later and i still make contact with them fairly often through social media things like that you can expect to make friends there you can expect to have a little competitive pressure some people don't like that pressure some people love it if you don't like it it's still good for you i believe especially if you're a big bow hunter because the pressure involved in a hunting situation feels very similar to the pressure involved in shooting at an asa where there are people around you know family members from the group that you're in may be around you've got people watching you it's a little added pressure also you know you drove for me 15 16 hours to go shoot arrows so you want to do well that increases the pressure but again at the end of the day i think that's a good thing you know another benefit of shooting a pro-am is there's pros there so if you've always wanted to see levi morgan shoot a bow you'll get a chance to do that generally on saturday they shoot their second round so saturday evening they'll have the pro shoot down you've probably watched them on youtube I think they actually have them on cable TV now. I'm not sure the channel. If you guys know that, let me know. But you get to be there live and watch these guys compete for tens of thousands of dollars uh, at the end of their round on Saturday. Just the opportunity to be around those guys is a big reason that a lot of people go. My recommendation for everyone is just to go and enjoy it for what it is. It's a bunch of like-minded individuals all into archery, most of them into hunting you'll never run out of stuff to talk about with anybody there even if you go by yourself if you want to start competing more well now you know a lot more about it and you'll learn did i like this class do i want to change my equipment you might not know any of that right now but you go shoot one and talk to all these people you'll and you'll get the information you need to make decisions as far as do you want to be a tournament archer going forward no matter what just make it a good time do not show up to one of these and then get all down in the dumps if you shoot bad on day one. What's, what's that going to do to help you? Archery is a very mental game, and if you go in there and just 
beat yourself up on every bad shot and let the pressure get to you, you're not gonna have a good time, you're gonna ruin it. So just go have a good time. And again, enjoy it for what it is.